Trees. Let's get it. Mark and Wheel. Yeah, yeah. Mark and Wheel. Yeah, yeah. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you only go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you only go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. What's going on, people? Hey, welcome back. But this is this is this is different. This is Mark and Will presents Champ the Champ. So where this show is solely talking about Dallas and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Them boys and them still nation. What's going down? What is going down? Did you actually thought we weren't gonna drop nothing on our teams? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, should, yeah, they should already saw that coming though, bro. For real, yeah, for real. I mean, you know, we covering everything. You know what I'm saying? So you right. think we ain't, we ain't get champ the champ? Come on, right. bro. Let's, let's keep it 100, man. That's what we do. Got to give it to them right. Got to give them my size, our stories on our team and all that. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. People don't think it could happen, but you know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. It's happening, baby. Champ right. the champ. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do. For real, for real. Y'all banger. So, let's get started with these quarterbacks. You want to go to them quarterbacks, man? Yeah, this is these quarterbacks, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Why? Get me. Let's hit these quarterback questions, man. People got to know this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got you. They deserve to know. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Because, you know, the, the, the big thing is, I think we got a lot of uh, issues going on. Uh, I know, especially for them boys, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, uh -huh. you know, we, we need to address something big time. The elephant in the room with the elephant is so big. This. Go ahead. This. Is Dak worth 40 a year? You know what? You talking about that guy right there? That guy right there in front of you. Come on, bro. Come on. Stop that shit. Nah, but I'm going to tell you what, though. He earned his money. He earned his money by getting hurt. I mean, basically, he was on fire. You know, the team was still losing, but they was respectable. But he went ahead and did it, man. I mean, you got to give that dude his, his love. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's a $40 million player. Okay. But I know they need him because you got to think, it's, it's not too many quarterbacks out there. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole thing. Ain't too many quarterbacks out there. So if I say, look, play Russian roulette, and say, let this dude walk, who you getting? Russell and them ain't, ain't really going up for real. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to take him. But that offense, hell yeah. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. Because before he gets injured and all little crazy stuff, he was lead job passing. He was doing his Oh, he was balling. He was leading the league in passing yardage. So, I, what was it? It was this. This would be his what? Fourth? This would be his fourth year in the league, right? Our third. Is it the fourth? No, nah, fourth. It'd be his fourth. What? One more year. Yeah, Hold on. He's one more year than uh, Lamar. So whatever Lamar is going into, he's a year over that. So it's four. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Dak want to Dak went to the playoffs. So it's going five. It's going five, partner, because Lamar's going to hit four. Yeah. So, how many times has Dak made the playoffs? One did her. One did her. And lost. One did her. Right? Of course. You ain't saying nothing new. What the hell you going to attack my dude for? No, I'm not, I'm not attacking. I'm not you know what I'm saying? You going to attack my dude for? You know what I'm saying? You throwing all this, this shit. You throwing all this fire. You throwing all this fire. People ain't that some shit. Right? So, dog, 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 dog stuff is, is, is messed up. For real, for real. I mean, so why do he even think in his mind that he's worth forty million? Because, I, uh, Your Honor, as a witness of a destruction, 
I'm gonna tell you something. He he thinks he's worth forty million because lovers or haters, if he played, he'd have went to the playoffs. I mean, he may not have done shit, but he'd have went to the playoffs. How many games y'all win? If he don't get hurt, how many games y'all win? Man, we at least we won at least nine games or eight games, some shit. We won with six and ten. He definitely was good for two more. He won two of them before. He won two of them before. Otherwise, take him take him out. You got to deal with Red Ranger. And uh, Danucci, uh, Danucci, and you got to deal with uh, uh, Gibber, which Gibber was all right. Gibber almost stole your asses. Gibber was okay. Ain't played in 30 years, but still, he was okay. Lost the game, no matter what, but Dak. Dak, 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 man. Dak and that quarterback, man, come on, man. But you know what? He said. Don't, don't, don't just go past that. Don't just go past that. Yeah. Why, why, you have to bring, why you got to bring up the fact that we barely won? We won. Yeah, I should have won. Because y'all should have won by 50. You know it. Oh, no, no. I would took that win. I'm jealous of that damn win. I want that win. You absolutely right. I mean, I can't say shit, bro. For real, for real. No, no, for real. I'm going to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it is people don't understand. Like, this right here is allowing Mark and I to go edit. We brothers, you know what I'm saying? We do a show, we do podcasts, whatever that, but we're able to speak. We're actually able to be fans of our team. Whenever we do anything else, we try to be, we still going to be professional no matter what we do, but still, now we can say, hey, this is what is going down, whatever. Yeah, we should have did this, whatever. But to answer your question, the reason why that dude think he's going to get $40 million because without him, what you got, you ain't got shit. You ain't got shit. So you got to eat. You got to eat, man, for real, for real. And I don't think he's 40 me. No one should think he's 40 me. Take that 37 and run, baby. But as a business person, dude, this is the best thing to happen. You got hurt, right? And I ain't saying this. You got hurt, but the team sucked without you. Suck. So you got to go get money. Go get paid. I, look, if you get that man, look, give that man 38.5 for four years and all this shit. But he won five. He won five years and all this. Get that dude, man. You know what, man? Bump that shit. What's up with your quarterback? That 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 two time champion. What's going on? What's going on? First off, I thought he was done when Pouncey was done because they and they agreed they was going out together. I don't know what else Ben got to prove. You going to the Hall of Fame, Ben? You going to the you going to the Hall? You got two Super Bowls. He, he's, he's there. He's there. He's there. He got weapons in Pittsburgh. Do I think Ben is the guy to help us over the edge for one more year? In this situation, yes. Oh! 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 Wait! 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 Yeah, it's some people out there. It's some people out there. No, you know what's so crazy? There's people out there, but we're not going to be the ones who jump in the draft. So, so let me. No, I ain't even talking about that though. I'm he talking about crazy stuff. Yeah. We ain't giving up, ain't giving up nothing for no yeah. Russell, for no uh Watson. Deshaun Watson. None of that shit. Go not get to it, though. None of that. So Big Ben, he's basically like Rudy. But let, let me ask you this real quick. Let me ask you this real quick. Let me ask you this. So did you, as a still nation fan, did you think he he Look tired at the end of the season, bro. He looked wore down. He looked wore down. Wore down. Yeah. Because for one, Ben's not supposed to throw the ball down there 60, 75 times a game. You he can't do that. When you don't have a run game and you depend on that arm at elbow, especially the throwing elbow, then he has surgery. It's not gonna work. How old is Ben, man? That don't work. It's Ben 60. How old is he 60? Being being 38 now, stop. That cats my age, old ass. That <laughs> cats my old ass. He's, hey, but you know what? So look, look, you got a quarterback. You got a, you got a yes. proven winner. Super Bowl, two of them things. Hey, yes. two of them things doing what he got to do. Res much love, respect, and all this kind of shit, right? So my thing is this: Do you let him leave when he wants to leave? Uh, do you like 
Say, cause look, say say you get him this year, he play another year. Say he said, man, you know what? That's the best I felt in years. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Do you let him leave or do you say, okay, hey, hey, hey pot? No, I give him this year. You you take this year because you felt like you disappointed. We went undefeated. You lost that three in a row. Then we lose to Cleveland in the playoffs or whatever the case may be or whatever. You feel like you still got something to prove. You feel like you still got. It. You got all these young boys around you. <laughs> Decent defense or whatever. I give you one more year. One more year. I give you one more. After this, it's over. You're done. You gave us everything you he's gave us. Seven done better. Years, eighteen seasons. You done after this one. He done you done. Know, oh, you do. You gave us two Super Bowls. Thank you. After this year, you're done. Put a fork in. Done done. You done after this year, really? Done. Yeah. Done done. <laughs> like, he's done done. done but, We'll give you one more year. So you you got love. Somebody got love for you in that organization. Bro. Oh, everybody does. Everybody right. does. Because he got one. Because he got one with Tomlin, right? So I mean, yeah, shit. He, 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 so he got one with Tomlin. Yeah. How, how's Mister Cover doing anyway? <laughs> He's at home working. He's at home working, brother. <laughs> He's at home working. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> how's, this, how's, that, how's, that, how's that how's that cat doing? No, nah, for real, for real. I want to know how he's doing, man. For real, for real. Yeah, he, he at home, dog. He, he doing. Uh, he's on the, he's so, so, still nation, still nation is telling me basically that you're gonna ride in the sunset with this cat. How much he make a year? Seventy. Who Ben? What he make a year? Ben, they, we we trying to reinstruct the contract, brother. It's because we're going to get hit. We got to reinstruct it. They, they ain't came up with no number yet. So I guess they still in talks because if you want to come back. Is he, in, is he low 30s? Is he low 30s? Something like that? No, nah, dude, in the 30s. Like, dude, damn, the, the dude's great to get. He's great to get paid. He great to get that dollar. They let me. Hey, let there. me. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Let me tell you that my grandfather used to say, "Cut bait, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait." Hey, I can't argue with you about that because if it's gonna hit us that bad, we don't need them. Plus, I got some young stars y'all trying to keep too. Right, but at the same time, if we cut bait with them, we still gonna get hit on that cow. We still gonna get hit one way or another. Yeah, Ju yeah, we gotta pay people, but if Juju thinks he gonna get that money that he think he's getting. He might as well go to Detroit or Chicago and get that money. But you know what? This is the this is the problem. These the quarterback questions basically dictates what the whole team gonna look like. Because exactly. if you talk about that big this big money, you shucking out 40 million, 36, 34, something like that. You can't keep all, that. all these studs, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. That that's the realization of it, man. Right. These dudes are eating. I mean, granted, I don't know how much uh his center was making Ponzi. I'm sure he was making at least 10, 13, something, yeah, 14 million. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, when, you, when that's retired, so that's good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, you ready to ride or die with yours? See, the question to me is this. If 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 you could get a trade, Cowboy Nation, holler at me. If, if a trade came up available for Russell, Dak, what would y'all do? Would y'all take... Russell for four years, a Dak for five. That's the whole exactly. question. Russell, Russell's it's, a, it's, it's like, yeah, he's he's like uh, 30, 31. I think we looked it up the other day. It's like a four-year different type thing. It's like a four-year different type thing. So, See, if you, but this is great thing about it. If you actually want to trade for Russell, go get Russell. You're still taking on his big-ass contract. Yeah, but his big ass contract ain't forty million. Russell, nah, his shit ain't forty. His shit ain't forty. His shit ain't forty. Hell, and this dude's trying to get forty. I'll pay. You know what? I let Russell uh, uh, and see Ella handcuff us for like three to four years for real. Because don't get me wrong, Dak is young, upcoming, all this kind of stuff. I think Dak is like twenty six. I think he's like thirty or something like that. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing is, is that once a proven winner, yeah, 
Yep. One ain't hit off as a line ever. Maybe since Walter Jones, maybe play with Walter Jones or some shit. Somebody back then in Seattle. Eee. So basically, where you're getting at is at one playoff win ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Your honor, ain't been nowhere in years. <laughs> we ain't we ain't won a Super Bowl in years, your honor. So I mean, one player, Tony Romo got one, one, one more playoff win. Shit, <laughs> and that don't mean shit. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that, right. that's the real deal of it, of the nation, man. It's a business. So look, I understand if you because okay. Real quick before we go to the next topic, because we've been, you know how we, we know how we rock and roll, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the the thing is this, and that's why I said, hypothetically speaking, if you can get Russell or Dak, for and I said four or five years, okay. Russell has about that much left in him. Yeah, Dak, we don't know. I mean, we have. It's not even a comparison when you talk about. When you what you see on the field, because Dak has missed several people. I mean, you watch a game, you like, damn, he met him. And, and don't get me wrong, he's not. He's finally got a rip. He, he's found McCarty. I mean, people may not don't like him, but hey, we know he done coached the goat, one of the goats, our legend yeah. in Green Bay. Uh, my man, you know what I'm saying? Gerd was a little shaky as hell, you know that kind of stuff. So maybe McCarty can tutel him, you know. But if Russ come in, he don't need no tutelage. Right. He's a winner. He's, he's coming in. He's coming in. Yeah. No, ain't no different, bro. I mean, you know, we can talk about this forever, but we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. The next one we got right here, the next one we're going to talk about is the NISO draft picks. 2021 draft. Who should be the first round pick of the Cowboys? Who should be the first round pick of the Steelers? You know what I'm saying? So, we're we going to hit them with that real quick, without a doubt. So, uh, you know, who you think? Who you, who you think y'all should take, bro? Me, personally, I can go a couple of different ways with this, but I'm just going one. I will go get Ed Boyd from Alabama. Go get Harrison from Alabama. That running back, go get him, bring him in. James Conner, he's gone. I love yeah. his story. Love his story. <laughs> You did a great job for us. You actually stayed in Pitt. You played for Pitt College. You came to Pittsburgh and you stayed home. Great story. You're just not the guy. You not the guy, dude. You know, bring somebody fresh in. Hold on, bro. For that for that month. <laughs> Shoot the bullets, baby. Shoot the bullets. Like for real, dude. You not That's real talk. That's real talk. I mean, you did solid for us, but it's just not good enough what Pitt like to do. We like to run the ball. Then that play action hit. Now you motherfuckers got to look out the pass because we got these young boys. You know what I'm saying? So, like, damn, dude, now I'm passionate about this show right here, baby. That's what I'm saying. Eat, baby. Eat. Eat. It's time to eat. I feel like dude's going to – he could be that that dog. We're going to do everything we need to do because Benny Snell, shout out to the BBN, he ain't the guy neither. Say it for the people in the back a little louder, please. Shout out to the BBN, but he's not the guy neither. Okay, cool, cool. That's cool. That's cool. We dropped that young boy what? last year, but he didn't prove himself because he was injured. So, Mark, what number? No Mark, what number you have? What number you have, bro? We 24. 24. Real quick, you know how we do it. We like to shout out. Hey, thank you, Shannon. Shannon Wood, Shannon Kamek, Dion, Sierra. Thank y'all for uh, watching. Much love. New, new show. New show. But no, no, no. Right right now, like, so, basically, Steelers will keep Kentucky boy. Snap. This, this because. He's still on the contract. Yep. He's still under, and Connor's a free agent. You're going to keep him for a year. Connor's going to leave. Got to have somebody else in there. They're twins. I mean, for real. They're twins. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No. We, talk, we, talk about this, we talk about this all year long. You know what I'm saying? They're twins. They're basically twins. And you absolutely, I like that young buck. 
I think it's from Merlin or somewhere that you're talking about that, yeah. that is explosive. You have to have an explosive back. These two dudes is lumbering shit. They going to be yeah. guests on the show, I guess. I was shoot. I would love to have more her to talk about it, but <laughs> they be, they be <laughs> mad as hell though, because you know we're gonna drill that ass. <laughs> right. Drill that ass. This would be my guy to go out the. I need he, he's a beast. He's a beast. I need him. But you know what? At first, when when we talked about this, and you was talking about him, I was like, man, he ain't gonna be available. The thing about it is, all the drive people have. Two or three other running backs ahead of him, so he he probably gonna be a yeah, 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 yeah. Them the the North Carolina boys and all that kind of stuff, yeah. So you know, hey, for real, for real. Yes. Yeah, y'all, y'all have a chance on that for real. That's good. Cool. I would love to get we get them, but if we don't. We're going off our of office alignment, so <laughs> like like everybody else. <laughs> Like everybody else, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how we do. You know what I'm saying? Who do you think I'm picking up with your first round pick, brother? Well, let me go. Let me, get. I'm gonna tell you what, man. I, point blank, bro. This is what we need, man. I got two people out. I'm singling out. I got Caleb Farley, DB. You know what I'm saying? Both from DBs. Uh-huh. Uh, Patrick Sertain, number two. You know the second. We need a true lockdown. We gave up, my boy. Um, Oh, I can't think of his name. He went to Miami, man. Uh, he, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it, it, that hurt. But we also got the Alabama boy who, who balled. You know what I'm saying? He hurt his foot and everything else like that. But we need, you know what I'm saying, uh, a, a real, uh, another cornerback to solidify that. We, we got so many holes, man. I could have went so many. I could have put. I could have filled this damn page up. <laughs> I thought he was going to go off his line. Now, well, we need that, but you can get a good one in the second round. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like we need we need that for the backup and all kind of stuff that, you know, you get a second, third round, fourth round, they can start. You see what I'm saying? Uh, what happens is, is that a lot of people, they take a tackle and everybody knows they got to take a tackle. You know what I'm saying? It's free for all and all that kind of stuff. But um, Farley and Sartain, really, I want Sartain, Sartain, man. That dude right there, people don't yeah, test him. Boy. Caleb, you know what I'm saying? They ain't about Caleb Farley. He ain't played all year. You know what I'm saying? He set out. He's the one of the dudes who set out the whole year. See what I'm saying? He so, said, nah, I ain't going to play. So, basically, if y'all let Jerry Jones do the first round again, you ain't getting either one of these cats. Well, he ain't going to do it. Well, I don't know. You know, the thing about it is he he, he drafted. What's your boy? What's your boy that uh, played for Buffalo, man, the receiver? Which one? Diggs? Yeah, you know, uh, we had Trayvon Diggs second round, so that was second round. And he, you know, dude, dude improved. He's solid, so he's gonna be on one corner. Go get another one if you because the NFL set up that certain players or certain positions they do not draft high, no matter what. We need a safety. We all know this. So I'm thinking like this: if you can do, because Dan Quinn, defense coordinator, okay, that's cool. That's cool. If you can go ahead and get some people in free agency that you ain't got to do all that, that's cool. Because a lot of these deals are already done yeah. that we just don't know. You know what I'm saying? When a dude say, okay, he visit Miami, or he's going to visit Miami the, the, that same day, he's already there. I mean, come on, dude, for real. Stop playing with us. I agree. It's already done. A lot of these agents already did these deals. So my thing is this draft that comes quickly, you already know who you already got. And all this kind of stuff. So to me, though, if you can get another, uh, 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 because uh, Diggs is gonna be better next year. He had a foot injury and he still was cool. But you go get another dude to lock off that other side. Then you can get a because I'm gonna tell you what we gonna get a damn uh, uh, free agent right. safety, and then you can get these linemen and all kind of stuff like that. But the biggest question right there here is like, okay, we know the Dak situation. We talked about that. Yes. Was up with Zeke? I like Pollard, but Pollard's a third down back. And Zeke's still getting that top dollar. Zeke gonna get cut if he don't. You know what I'm saying? Like you think about this. Office, we lost four offensive of linemen. Yes. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. he he ain't even he's not even like judged on this shit. You see what I'm saying? He's not even judged on this shit. For real, for real. 
no matter what. Because, you know, you got to have offensive line. I mean, only dude that we know in modern day that didn't have an offensive line and ball that dude named Barry. Yes. Everybody else say yeah. offensive lineman, dude. For real, for real, for real. That's, yes. that's modern day. We talking about modern day. But when you ain't got that and you talking about big dollar, you get a you get a pass and all this kind of shit. But my thing is this: if you see one of them dudes that's uh, available in the second or third round that can can help carry the load, you got to go snatch him, man. For real, for real, for real, for real. So you think so? You you you're saying Zeke's done? I'm not saying he's done. I'm saying you got to protect your neck at all times. Protect your neck. Hell, that's what y'all should have done. If y'all had done it, y'all have y'all have went to the Super Bowl with all that damn talent. Zeke, Zeke, he said you're done. I hope you want this. Shit, I ain't said that. I said that you need a back a plan B. And I ain't talking about the morning pill. I ain't talking about the morning pill. I'm talking about plan B. And your ass, you shit, you done fired all your damn running backs. And, and your quarterback, you, you, you duck behind that, but that's okay. I see you. 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 I mean, sometimes you got to do your job. Just let people go. So when I saw, yeah, go, no, my thing is this, though. With Zeke, real quick. With Zeke, you have to see what he looks like next year. If your line, if your line is legit, good, good it ain't got to be great. Good enough. Where people are healthy and they can do all kind of stuff, and it, and it, you may have to draft a couple of linemen, to, and they should to secure that shit because everybody gets hurt. But if he does not do what he needs to be doing, then you then, then you because we all know running backs life expectancy in in NFL is not not long. I mean we know not that long we, we we we're not even gonna bullshit that for real. I mean that that's yeah, no, that's trickery. So it's real quick though. Still a nation drafting a quarterback. Mm. Me personally, like I, I told you off, off air, I feel like it's two quarterbacks that they will go after up in the second round. That boy from North Carolina, uh, the Alabama quarterback. Yeah, he won it. Ooh. I, Ooh. Can, I can see us doing that. Did he declare? Did the North Carolina boy declare? Did he declare? Yeah, he, he's a senior. He got no choice. Thought he was a junior. Okay, that's cool. Unless he take that option, like you said. With oh, yeah, everybody's, yeah, everybody's got this shit. Yeah, everybody's got that shit. No, you right. You right. You right. They were the only two quarterbacks to me that I can see them doing because they fit they fit Pitt's offense to do certain stuff. So I could see that second round, second, third, if they available. Uh, Your Honor, we're taking one, too. I just don't know what round. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take one too. Right. It is what it is. You got to. When I saw, I don't know who the hell drafted Denichi, Denichu, Denichu, and that dude looked like Mark and Will split down in half as a 40 some year old and a 30 some year old ain't played in years trying to throw a ball against, uh, 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 who was it, Philly or somebody? Like, come yeah. on, man. Dude, that, yeah. that was so embarrassing, bro. I mean, for. That's probably, you know, I, I love my team. I love it. I, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? That, that was my boys. Them yeah. boys. But when I saw that shit, stop it. Come on, man. Quit playing games with me, man. Quit playing my feelings, though. I mean, for like, like it was almost like when you were in high school and you on a losing-ass team, you ain't wearing a jersey. That, uh, uh. Uh, on Friday, we play. man, you on that loser ass team game? Won a game out, man. Put that shit, man. Come on, dude, man. I, dude, right now though, you know what I'm saying? That's one bonus of doing this show, man. I got a million hits. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm still die hard, die hard till I die. But nah, man, you ain't got me going out like looking like no fool, and you are playing somebody who uh. Won the uh, golden ticket on Willie Walker to be the quarterback. <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of here with that bullshit. 
Oh Lord Jesus. Oh. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's end it. Let's end the show with a banger. Like we always do. Let me go ahead and cue up some shit real quick. Um this right here, this is one of the things we're gonna do on the show. Um we always gonna go ahead and promote uh Still a Nation. Cowboys, and we're going to give history lessons and talk about them and how we thought about them, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, right here, this right here, this segment will always be on here. It's legends. It's legends. So, you know what I'm saying? Mark and I will pick a, a certain player we want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Somebody may not be in the Hall of Fame. Some people might be. It makes no difference. These two franchises, historically, is is. Compared, it, it, nobody compares to either one. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, Steelers exactly. got six Super Bowl championship. Cowboys got five. You see what I'm saying? So hey, no one compare, man. It, it is what it is. We love to hate each other, but you gotta respect. So got legends of the game, right now. That's what we do. Who you got, Mark? Who's your legend of the game right now, brother? Legend of the game right now to me. I'm out to pick this first one because this guy he. I love this guy, Troy Palomalu. I'm going with head and shoulders. <laughs> Got to go with head and shoulders. Beast He changed the game. Anytime he's on the field, you got to see where that man was at. And Beast mode, baby. Beast mode. If, if you saw him at that line, the, the quarterback, hold on, wait a minute. There go that long hair dude right there. Find out who's blocking him. <laughs> I mean, he's jumping over offensive linemen, getting sacks at the one yard line. Like, who does that type of stuff? Put his body on the line every play. Like this man, Troy. Huh? T Troy. Troy. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. <laughs> I, uh, you know what I'm saying? I kind of try to, uh, like, Troy and Ed Reed, even though they two different players or whatever, I just feel like people need to put Troy up or with Ed because a lot of people don't. Because let me, let me ask, the game. Let me ask you this, though, bro. I mean, I know you feel that way because Troy is not, besides those commercials, people don't talk about him. But I think real football fans know what Troy did and ain't about no head and shoulders. Troy, Troy was a headhunter. Troy was like Steve Atwater, all that kind of stuff. He was like Sean Teller. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you right. run game was null and voided. You were not doing anything. Also, in passing game, if he's back there and you come across that mid, like he couldn't play in today's game. Like none of those safeties can play in today's game because they're knocking people out. They're doing what they do. I mean, let's keep it 100. That's different. Right now is a soft league. People, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I understand safety protocol, all this kind of stuff. These dudes was head hunters. If you came across the middle, you was getting smacked. Troy was smacking your ass. And that's how it is. And the thing about it is, yes, yes, we all got uh, sons, nephews, and all this kind of stuff to play. And safety's first. We understand that. But when we yeah. talk about... What football looked like then? Yep. Them dudes can play. Them dudes can play. Yeah. Ronnie Lott. What I tell you yesterday, I told you when we was talking, Troy is like Ronnie Lott, dude. You come, dude, he's coming up with a line, he's smacking your ass, dude. You're not yes. getting, you're not doing it. He's diving up. No, when he dove over the line, stuck some, dude, nobody does that, partner. Nobody no, does no. that, man. <laughs> for real, for real. For real, for real. Dude. Love that man. Dude's that guy. He's that guy. He's, he's always that. Always. And I feel you on it. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't the first one people talk about. But real football fans? Come on, man. And I ain't talking about real. I ain't even talking about Still Nation. I'm talking about real football fans. Exactly. Boy, right. Yeah, yeah. Because you know Troy is going to make a play in a game. And it could be. And I'm saying a play. I mean, we know he made several. But you know. Right. Now he's, he's a game changer, dude. He's a game changer. Who was like that? I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit y'all with this okie doke, man. I'm gonna hit y'all with some old legend right here, baby right, boy. Yes, sir. Somebody who 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 who. If you're a Dallas fan, 
Tom Landry is the GOAT. Tom Landry, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, the dude on the sidelines with his head on and shit, calm, cool, collected, <laughs> didn't even run. Like, this, this, right, this dude is a legend. And the crazy thing is this, bro. You know, I copied it. You know, I, I, I'm reading off his shit. No, I man, I don't read off shit. But I'm going to read off Tom because Tom right there is the godfather of Dallas Cowboys. All Dallas fans, y'all need to recognize for sure. Hey, and he played. Dude, made, dude was on a Pro Bowl in 1954. You see what I'm saying? First team all Pro 1954. Uh, Two-time punt leader, all this kind of stuff. Uh, Coach of the year in 1966. Um, Coach of the year is 75. He made the NFL 100th anniversary team. Uh, Pro, fo uh, Pro, Bowl, uh, no, Pro Football Hall of Fame 90. He's in the ring of honor. He, he owns uh, the uh, record for most wins as a coach in Dallas, 250. Yeah, yeah, 250. That's a lot of wins. And like they playing 80 some games like them NBA, dude was that guy. Uh, NFL champion, 56, two-time Super Bowl champion. Dude, dude, hey, dude did his thing. Hey, to his career, head coaching, 270, 1786 at a 60% clip. He was postseason 20 and 16. Dude, I, I, you know, one of the reasons I was a Dallas fan is because, you know what I'm saying, it was on TV and all this kind of shit. I remember watching him, dude. He was smooth, man. He was, he on the sideline, you looking at this dude, he had the tie. He chilling. Chilling. You can't mess with him, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you what. Franchises we're blessed. Like, we had Jimmy Johnson, another Hall of Famer. Y'all had Hall of Famers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chuck, 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 uh, Chin. I call him Chin. You know what I'm talking about? And Tom is going to be one. So it's like, once you got them franchise, you, when you got them coaches that, like, do, I wanted to start it off the legend with I, the dude who I remember seeing on the sidelines. Non stop like this, yes, chill mode. Chill mode. What you see, the f dude, he rocked for doors, he did all hats, all kinds of shit. You can't mess with him. Hey, for real, for real, dude's a legend. What we brought y'all today was a legend game, not even today. Yeah. What we brought y'all today, champ to champ. We gonna hit y'all with bangers and bangers. What you say, brother? What you say? This ain't nothing but a sneak peek. Boy. Sneak peek, baby, because hey, this don't stop, man. You're talking about two of the legendary franchises of all times, baby. Yes, and still awesome. growing. You know what I'm saying? Don't let hey, don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? So hey, without a doubt, the funny thing is, like I always say, man, y'all thought we was done. I'm not gonna hit y'all with this banger? And y'all know what we do? Right. See, I ain't even gonna hit stop it. I mean that that just goes what I gotta do. But look, <laughs> hey, thanks for everybody who's been watching the show. What we do, appreciate you. We're gonna hit y'all with another one. Another cool, another topics. This right here is for the Cowboys, the uh Steelers fans, and the Mark and Wheel. Because y'all know how we gonna do. We bring it raw and cut. That's what we right. do. Another banger. And I ain't going to put the recorder, baby. Look at that terrible towel, baby. Banger, banger, banger.